Hi there, and welcome to this new video, in which I'm going to show you how to fix a, an iron. Um, first, you need to assess which is the faulty part, uh, if you can, of course. And in my case, it was the thermal fuse, which is the small piece of that you can see here. This is called a thermal fuse. And basically, what it is, is a safety switch that allows uh, the um, flow of current uh, that uh, heats the plate of the iron to be interrupted if the temperature gets too high. So it's a safety mode to avoid um, the, the melting of the internal circuitry, what you can see here. Now, first thing you need to check that your thermal fuse has got continuity of current because if it does not, then you need to replace it with a new one. And it's a small piece and it just costs about three euros or four or five dollars, something like that, you know. So the, the one that I'm testing now is the old one and it doesn't have any continuity. Whereas this one is a new one and as you can see, there is continuity. The problem may also come from the thermostat and you see those two plates there that move when I turn that thing. So uh, when they come in contact with each other, they, they should um, transfer uh, current from one plate to the other. But if the, the surfaces of those plates are oxidized somehow or dirty, uh, then the, they won't trans transfer current as efficiently as they should. So what um, I was advised to do is to run a piece of sandpaper, very fine sandpaper, and polish a little, a little bit those two plates. Now, also, you have to check if there is any cracks in the red silicon, uh, which is a, um, a seal that prevents vapor coming up from the, uh, the plate uh, that heats up the water that comes into contact with the plate. And as you can see here, I have a few cracks that may have caused some very hot vapor to leak out and uh, break my fuse. Now, when you have your thermal fuse, you can either solder it or just uh, twist the two cables together there to recreate the circuit. I will be soldering it because I have a soldering iron, but you can just as well just twist the, the metal cables together. Well, as you can see here, I, I soldered it and I recreated the circuit. So now there should be some uh, continuity from this red cable here to the other side, to the white cable. Turn it on and see if it works. Yeah, looks like it's working because the bulb there just lit up, which is good. Good sign. And now, as you can see here, it's it's bubbling away here. So it means that the, the plate of the iron is heating up and vapor is produced and is coming out of this uh, red silicon, which is not good, and that's probably what caused the fuse to to break. So I need to replace that uh, red silicon with some new silicon and make a nice job, so that the uh, the plate of the iron is going to be uh, sealed tight, and this problem won't occur again. So I've just replaced the silicone here and now it looks fine, there's no cracks and uh, there should be no vapor uh, coming out of here. So, um, having done that, all I need to do now is to reassemble the iron and uh, try it and test it. Alright, 
Now it's all uh, reassembled. Let's try and turn it on. There you go. So lights are on. Let's see now if this is gonna work for real. Now it's very hot, it's getting hot really fast, so that's good. And everything seems to be working all right as it should. So as you can see, with a few euros, we have fixed a very decent iron and we've saved some uh, junk from the landfill, which is always a good thing for the environment. All right, folks, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like the video, uh, give it some thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.